Well, for today's Weed of a Week, I've got a plant that actually I've known for a while, and I wasn't quite sure what its proper name was, but I found out I had a wow moment, and that wow moment was caused by using one of these plant identification apps. And I've used several before, but some of them just aren't that good. But this one has been excellent. It's called Picture This, and I open it up, and there's a little camera button. I just press that. Screen comes up with a little frame to focus on it. And what I'm looking at is this chap with the little blue flower. So I'm gonna take a picture of it right in the frame. It's identifying it, and it comes up with the Asiatic day flower. So there you go. And I think it is actually related. I used to call it a spiderwort, kind of a wild native spiderwort, but it's not. It's from Asia. It's another invasive plant that's come in. And I didn't realize it was actually an annual. So I was thinking the roots will stay in the ground and they will come back year after year and I'll pull them out. The roots aren't the problem. The seed is a problem. The flower will eventually form seeds. Like there, you can see there's a couple of capsules in there and they spread and each year they germinate and during the early part of the summer you don't notice them. Then all of a sudden you see these little blue flowers and you realize, I mean, last week, or two weeks ago I should say, I picked all this stuff up and threw it on the rock here, thinking the sun would burn it up. But it's an incredibly tough little plant. Um, the other way I used to deal with it was throw it on the lawn, on the grass, and let the lawn mower chop it up. But <laughs> that I realize is a mistake, because if you chop it into little pieces, those little pieces can root again, and before you know it, they're back with a vengeance. So I think the best thing to do is, just when you see the flowers, try and pull it up, or even before it flowers, grab as much as you can, put it in a black trash can, and let the sun fry them a little bit hot, longer. Don't put it on the compost heap. So there you go, Asiatic day flower. Can be a real nuisance if you don't uh, know what it is and you let it spread, because it just literally will run everywhere.